everybody, my name is Rhett. I guess you're wondering what's going on today. Well, today's episode is what I like to call Rhett vs. McRib. As you can see here, I've got a lot of McRibs in front of me, and we're going to go ahead and see just what happens when I eat this limited time only. Did you hear that? Limited time only sandwich from McDonald's. We're gonna give it a little review, we're gonna see how many I can go, and we're just gonna have ourselves a good McRib time. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Immediately, you take that bite, and it's delicious. There's, there's, a, you know, a dill of ribs in there. There's, there's a lot that's going on. There's a lot that's happening. I mean, all right, bite number two. Yeah, you get some of that onion, some of that pickle flavor really, really heavy on the barbecue sauce. All right, going in on number two. I'm, this is gonna be easy. Delicious. Yeah, close up. Delicious. Oh, getting brief full. All right, here we go. Number, number four. This one, this one's gonna be messy. We're feeling good. I think I'm going to be able to do this. Kind of building up some steam, getting ready to go. Here's, here's the whole thing. You've got to enjoy this while it's a limited time only. Limited time only. Six down. Number seven. It's still good. It's still good. We did it. Got one left. I don't feel very good. But you gotta enjoy this McRib because it's limited time only. They don't have it year round. It's not like you can just go get it whenever. Ugh. You gotta go get it. You gotta go get it while you can. Last one. Last one. There you go. There you go. All right, last bite of the limited time only, limited time only, McRib. The, I'm just as good as the first bite. I'm gonna need a nap. Ooh, I'm gonna need a nap on this one. I feel like I've got to chew it up real small so I, it'll fit my tummy. Limited time McRib is done and done. Hey everybody, I'm Rhett. 
I have some, have some news to tell you. I gotta be honest with you. I did not eat 10 McRibs. I didn't even buy 10 McRibs. But I don't want that to, I don't want that little fact to take away from the fact that I actually really like McRibs. You know, whenever I see that the McRibs are back, I always go and I get one because I enjoy it. And yesterday when I was eating it, I took a bite remembering just how good it was and I was kind of taken back, well, you know, it's good, but it's not great. It's good, but it's not over the top. And I started to realize it's not necessarily the food that brings me back in. It's the fact that it's limited time only. See, that line, limited time only, short time only, really gets me. If something's going to go on sale, but it's going to be a short time only, I jump on because I don't want to miss out. I don't want to miss out on the goodness that's supposed to be happening. We fall into a lot of traps when we think that it's limited time only. I've heard before, hey, I'm in high school. I want to live it up now as an excuse to go party and to go drink. I'm only in high school for a limited time only. Or, hey, I'm falling behind in this class. There's not a lot of time left. There's a limited time only. And so if I want to get in on that deal of passing my class, I'm going to have to cheat. I've heard, hey, I'm only, in, I'm only in this extracurricular for a season, so I'm going to go play this sport, I'm going to go be in this band, I'm going to be in this play, and you know what, I may have to miss some things, I may have to miss some family occasions, I may have to miss church, but it's only for a limited time only. Those other things can wait. Limited time only, a lot of the time grabs us, and it gives us the sense of urgency that we've got to jump on this good deal. When in reality, sometimes it's just a justification to make bad decisions. When we see Jesus with the woman at the well, he come, he's at the well and this woman's there and he's like, Hey, why are you here right now? Um, can you give me a glass of water? She shouldn't have been here. Can you give me a glass of water to drink? Uh, his disciples had gone into town. And she said, Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're a Jew. I'm a Samaritan. That's not what we do. And he goes, Ho, ho, ho. Little do you know if you knew who I was, you would ask me for something to drink. She's like, you don't have a pail. You don't have something to get into this well and to get water with. Why would I ask you? And in John 4, 13 and 14, he says, Jesus answered, everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. Jesus said, listen, the things of this earth... They're limited time only. The things of this earth are short. As the writer of Ecclesiastes would call them, meaningless. But there's something more. There's something more. I pray that we take this limited time only on earth that we've been given and we use it to the fullest. I pray we don't say, okay, I'm going to work on my faith later. I'm going to work on becoming a better Christian. I'm going to work on my relationship with God later because we've fallen into a limited time only. I pray that we seek out Jesus so that we can start having some of that sweet water that leads to eternal life. I hope to see you real, real soon. But until then, so long.